So we're doing 20 of these caps today. Got to put the holes in these still. Um, two in the machine, four left here. These guys. Hello. I said what you wanted me to say. Hello. <laughs> you said hello. Okay. I just said hello. Programming the delay for a new cap because. There's these threads, and there's these threads, and we can make a cap fit both of these. But then there are these threads. And these threads are special because they're, they're actually a two lead, a three lead thread. I don't know if you can see that underneath the cap or not. So obviously this being a one lead thread, and this being a three lead thread is gonna be a problem. So we're gonna have to build two different kind of caps. And that's what Isaac is doing now. He's building the tool path for the second kind. We have donuts. But we ate them all. We ate them all. Uh, I made 20 uh, caps yesterday. Or Isaac and I made 20 caps. We just gotta put the holes in them. We picked up a Harbor Freight tumbler this morning. We have plans to build a bigger and better tumbler, but we just need this to uh, to tumble some test pieces so that we can get them anodized this weekend to see what we're going to have in terms of finished product. Um, so yeah, that's going on. I had a little bit of trouble with my tool changer yesterday. Some coolant splashed up into the tool changer and some aluminum chips got on the hall sensor that tells the PLC that the tool changer has moved one increment. So the tool changer was was not moving as far as it should, or it was just missing steps. So what I'm going to do today is reprogram the PLC. So that's what we're working on today. More later. I didn't show this in my previous video, but I use magnets to hold these curtains. This is where two curtains come together and I got a magnet on one side and a magnet on the other. And the curtain is held to the side of the machine by these rare earth magnets that are super strong and super handy. I've got them really all over the machine, keeping the shower curtain up against the side of the machine where it needs to be, making the seal. Works pretty well. ID turning operation uh, and we need to build another one of these ID tooling holders so that we can mount it on the turret block and do another uh, tooling path inside of this bottle cap that we're making. So these guys are taking too long, 16 minutes for two so I went into our cam program and I shaved off some time. I got the new cam program on this USB. We're gonna go up here in the mock and we're gonna go to file, low G code. Scroll through here and find our, here it is right here. Program loading. It's all loaded. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna press this big green button. It's green because when, the when I press it, the machine makes money. I'm gonna go through a tool change first. I love this tool change. I programmed everything about this tool change with my own spare hands. It's awesome. 